Today, we get to sit down with legendary James Langdon of Vanderbilt University and Tennessee Soccer Club to see what he thinks of Recruit Shoot. Let's take a look. Perfect. So this is our social media feed. So right now, first thing, I'm signed in as an athlete. Um, I am signed in as a pro athlete, but I'll talk right. about the differentiating features between the free and the, the paid version from athletes later on. Um, so I'm signing in as an athlete, and I'll just walk you through kind of some of the things that you can do as a player on Recruit Shoot. Again, first off, you'll notice you have this, this social media feed. This is where college coaches can tie in their social media, so Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and I can then follow those college coaches through Recruit Shoot. So I've not got to go and follow these university pages on my own personal account, but when I come to Recruit Shoot, I know I can consume information about college soccer. So for me, it's a good right. point to come in and you know, I'm not having to check it. You know, honestly, we, right now we don't have the, the engagement where a player needs to come and check this, you know, every three or four hours. Um, right. And if players are coming on here two or three times a week, just check out some of the information. We publish our own information on here. We've tied it, as you can see here. We've tied it to all of our social media accounts. You can see the clubs can tie it to their social media accounts. So it's a very good way just to get that information out there. And from a player's perspective, I'm just consuming information, you know, the way that really I know how, which is through social media for most of these kids right. at the school age group. It's, it's trying to find a, a kind of a medium that works best with them. Um, I'll flip on here onto the overview of the player profile. See here, you've got the individual game statistics. All of this is indexable by the college coaches. They can search for all of these. As we scroll down here, again, all of this information you can search by. And then here's when you're going to have the different clubs that you're associated with, as well as your camps, different schools that I favored as an athlete. They all appear on my profile as well. And then the right. academic performance as well. Um, so it's kind of a combination of, of everything that really, when we talked with college coaches and said, hey, you know, what is it you need to – not necessarily recruit a player, but pre-qualify an athlete. This right. is all the information. They said, hey, this is, this is what we need. We need to know the academic side of it. We need to know why they want to attend different schools. And then if I can see what schools they're interested in, again, looking at here, you're looking at mainly Division three schools in the Midwest. If I can see that, I know that I'm then going to be a, a better fit for them or a not-so-great fit, depending on the schools. Oh, that they're nice. As well. If that makes sense, it's um, it, right. it gives the college coaches a bit more of a an insight and allows them to to really make sure that when they reach out to a player, you know, ultimately from a college coach, if you reach out to a player on recruit, you we want you to go in there knowing that that player is already interested in your school. You know, in a perfect world, right. if I'm looking at this, if I'm Kyle Kyle Lowndes by the looks of things, if I'm Kyle Lowndes and I'm reaching out to this player, I already know that this player is interested in my school, Viterbo University. So again, right. it gives them more of an insight, and, and as they. As a college coach, you will get a notification every time anyone favorites um, your particular university nice. as well. So you do keep up to date with that. Um, one thing on the, on the clubs we always point out is that you can be attached to multiple teams, multiple clubs, and multiple rosters. So you see here, this player is on the Tonka United, you know, Chicago City, and the Recruit You Soccer Club. So this player yeah. is able to connect. So you can have a club profile that's set up if you're going to showcase them and you can create a showcase team and just have them predominantly created for that account and then also if the high school wants to join as well it's free to do so from both the high school and the club's perspective so we're encouraging as many as many people as possible to get onto this platform and then right. the athletes to be found based on that so if i'm at a high school game maybe i've seen this player i go on the high school roster maybe it's at a you know a club game and i see tonk united u18 and then i go and look them up that way so it just provides different ways for players to get found based on who they play for and who they're representing at that time right any um, any questions on kind of the, the player overview or anything that you've seen so far and um, just on this side i guess why would just be like, would, so would the player need to contact the head coach and be like, hey, let's, can we recreate this? Or uh, when, like you're saying with the high school, if, if from a high school standpoint? Or, oh, uh, so how does a player, how, how does a club page or a high school page get created? Yeah. Yeah, so we, um, we work with the clubs and the high schools directly. So, for instance, a sure. player could turn around to us and say, hey, you know, or, or, or turn around to the head coach and say, hey, listen, I'm on Recruit You. My club isn't, hasn't signed up. You know, can you, can you create this profile? It's free to do. All they have to do yeah. is get in contact with us. We actually set up the profiles for all the clubs and for the uh, high schools. You send us a CSV file. We go in there. We invite all the players. And then we hand it basically like a turnkey kind of, uh, kind of approach. Yeah. Hand you your, your complete club profile. All the players have been invited. If they choose to, to accept the invitation, they come onto the platform. If they don't, it doesn't matter. Not everyone wants to play college soccer at the end of the day. It's, um, right, right. it's not a requirement. You know, if you're a member of a club, you don't have to use this platform. We just encourage it if you are interested in looking at ultimately any university and or playing college soccer. Okay. 
it's um, no, it, it, it's a quite it's quite a straightforward way to do that from the clubs. And then again, I'll, I'll show you quick a, a club's perspective. If we go on to uh, we go on one of our clubs in Minneapolis, if you come on to here and you come on to one of the different rosters, um, oh look, nice. So you have the rosters, you have all the players that created profiles here. You have all the players. You can see on this particular roster, we've got nine players there that have created profiles. The rest of the players just haven't created profiles. Again, that means right. it, it doesn't mean that they don't necessarily want to play college soccer. They just haven't created a profile yet, or they're not interested in playing college soccer. So again, right. it's not a differentiator. You don't have to do it to be on there. Um, again, from a, from a player or a college coach that's looking at this roster now, I can come on here and I can just go straight to an individual player's profile as an athlete, I can't message him because it's another kind of peer or another athlete. Athlete, they're unable to right. contact each other. As a college coach, you could just message this player directly, um, and it works as like an inbox rather than an email. So everything's staying within the platform to kind of stop everything going straight to email straight away and everyone getting blown up. Nice. Yeah, yeah. It's um, yeah. It, it's just uh, it, it's essentially when a club and a high school joins, it, it's creating a an online portfolio and it's it's putting your players out there to be discovered as much as it's, you know, going to a showcase event, as much as you go into a tournament or an ID camp, when you join Recruit, you're putting your players on this platform to be discovered and giving them the right. tools they need to actually get in there and recruit the players and be able to, uh, sorry, not to recruit the players, to, to research the different schools based on the right. criteria that they need. Um, but yeah, let me, I'll, I'll flip over and show you quick how the, how it works to search for colleges. So again, this is our, our college finder database. Um, now this is a this this is a list of or a database of every single college in the United States, regardless of if they have soccer or not. So again, if oh, I'm wow. not interested in playing college soccer, it's very easy for me to use this regardless. We actually think, and if you actually compare this to some of the the, the databases that are out there just on the internet, I think this is is, is one of the most powerful databases you will see. Um, wow. Like, come on here and say, right, I'm looking for men's and women's soccer. So I can put that in there. I can search by a zip code and I can say, you know, most kids are usually going within 250 mile radius. And then I'm looking at division three. So straight away there, I can start to find the list of those colleges that are going to match my criteria. Again, our, yeah. internet, our internet here is a little bit slow. Just give that a second. Again, here's all the colleges that are going to match that criteria. If you notice here on the match, all these percentages, Based on the individual preferences that I put on my profile as an athlete, that's going to then give me oh, the percentage yeah. of every college. So I can start to see which are going to be the good fit for me. Again, this doesn't necessarily mean you're going to graduate in four years. It doesn't mean you're going to have the best time of your life just because you have 100% match. You could end up going to one with a 75% match and you know have a way better time. It's it, it's just some yeah, yeah. Of to kind of guide players and guide really the parents are looking which schools to go to. So you see here, all these schools, these are the coaches. You can see Michael Prunty there. You've got Sarah Meyer, Logan Fine. These are the different college coaches that are now associated with these universities. So when I click on a given university and it takes me to their university profile, again, using, uh, this was Wisconsin Whitewater, you can look right. on here I can go to the website if I wanted more information or I can come back here and I can commit oh, to this. Nice. I can go straight to the coach's profile and just message Scott Surprise, for instance. I could just send him a message straight away and it would then go straight into his inbox on Recruit Shoot. Again, remove yeah. to have these emails getting sent back and forth, if that makes sense. Yes. Any, uh, any questions on anything you've seen so far? I know I've thrown kind of a lot of information. Oh, it's, well, it's very comprehensive. It's very impressive. Um, so, I mean, in my case, then it would be um, – would we create a, a profile through Tennessee Soccer Club and then like you did with your club, your clubs there, um, we'd create different teams. And then if I wanted to get my 05s involved, I would just kind of send, send them recruit shoot links to encourage them to um, create profiles that way. Yeah, so if, if you're interested in getting involved on the club level, what we would say to you is, is first of all, I mean, just – Double check with the entire club that it's something that the club would want to would want to push forward with. Um, we do allow individual teams, and we can just set you up one team on here. Obviously, it works a lot better from the club's perspective because then it's going to attract you know attract different college coaches based on different teams that they know that are on there. Right. So if if, if the club's trying to go, yeah, you know, we want to do this. This is something that we're interested in. There's two ways we can do this. So we can either either get your initial account set up and then say, and we have all the videos online. We have, if you actually go on here, we have our, our help center, which will take you to everything you could ever think of possibly, you know, going on the platform. So there's that way that's more effort on your guys's end. Cause obviously you go in, you create the team profiles, you invite the players, or we say to the club, if you provide us with a CSV file of 
all the players, their first name and email, the team that they're on is all that we need. From there, we go in and we set it up for you and then say, here's your email and password as the club admin. We'll invite yeah. the coaches. You guys, it's all set up there and it's almost like a turnkey approach. Um, right. And then we have, we have you know, complete privacy policies. We don't have any third-party partners or anything like that, which is some questions we've, uh, we've been asking. Yeah, I'm sure. Do we, what do we use this data for? This data is exclusively used for the onboarding process and then sending, um, actually, um, we send information, kind of educational resources that we publish on our blog. We send them to all the players as well. And um, that's the only, the kind of the only use we have for the, the emails of the athletes. But every club always says to us, you know, what, what, what are the, the privacy policy you guys have in place already? Right, right. But it's um, no, I mean, it's, it's a very straightforward thing to do. Usually we, you know, usually we're doing, um, you know, two or three times a week. We set up times and have some of the guys on our team actually go in and take care of this. And um, it's not a same day kind of thing. Usually it's done within two weeks of when we receive the CSV file. And we do then get in right. contact and say to, the, say to the club, hey, we'll now follow up with a string of seven or eight emails to parents with um, guides, resources, um, and also links for if they do have any questions, frequently asked questions. And um, the last thing we want is then the players blowing up you guys and saying, hey, how do I do this? How do I do this? When they can just contact us directly as well. Um, yeah. Yeah website we do have a um a, a live chat feature which you can chat with us um through there it's i think it's nine till five right now we have it on um, in the evenings it's a little bit hit and miss we're not always manning it right. at the time but anytime nine till five you have someone guaranteed to be able to respond to any questions there as there as well nice um but no i mean the question would be yep. if if a player is, like is unaffiliated like if I have one player that wants to create a profile, um, how, how will they be found that way? Or will they then be on them mostly to send their profile to coaches? Is it kind of both like the college could be searching through the athlete or through the club, or is it more the players are sending these profiles out? Yeah, so there's there's two ways that you can get faster. So if you're an athlete that's not affiliated with a club or a high school, so you're just on there on there by yourself, and um, there's two ways you can get found. Right now, our user base is about two thirds with a club, and about a third of the, the the athletes on this platform are just come on to us through you know social media or finding us through Google. Um, right. So once you create your profile, because all the information that you put on your on your profile is indexable. As an athlete or as a club, as a college coach, I can still search for athletes. It's only college coaches, the only ones that can message them. So I can yeah. say I'm looking for, you know, males that have a GPA of above, uh, you know, 3.0. I don't know, we can come down here and you can say in different states, you could say there's okay. different, or you even have the desired stages there. I'll keep it quite broad right now. You can search for different athletes going to match that criteria, again, using, nice. using, you know, Alexander, for example, here, San Francisco, California clicking on this athlete's profile as we scroll down you can see there are no clubs affiliated with this athlete however i could still reach oh, yeah. out to them as a college coach if i was interested in pursuing that athlete and learning more about them and um, if right. i'm an athlete that's more proactive if you look <laughs> here onto the view profile so i'm just gonna i'm actually just gonna move this down here if you look on here, you see how you have your profile dash uh, eight nine for this pic for this yep. profile. So I have the option to download a PDF if I wanted to to actually print off this profile and take this with me to showcase events. Oh, nice, yeah. Also do the same thing of complete rosters. Um, and yeah. one thing that we've seen more and more, which is is actually quite interesting, is if I I'm just going to copy and paste this, and I'm just going to sign out of of recruit you and just close these just to make sure this works, um, and then I'm going to view this profile as somebody that's not signed in. So again, you can see on here, it's going to take me to this account. So you can still share your yeah. profile, even if you're, you know, with a college coach that's right. not signed up. We have, I mean, we have 650 that are signed up, but I can share this profile and then a college coach just has I'll to watch the video. Yeah. yeah, and, yeah you can still watch the video. They sign up. It's going to take you straight to that profile. Um, and then you can reach out to them, you know, if you need it. We just, we right. just, all the coaches that are using this to be on our platform so that we can ultimately just control who's using this and who's messaging athletes um, and where right. people are, who they say they are. Right. Any, uh, no, any, any other questions though on, on anything you've seen so far from either the, uh, the club or the, the athlete's perspective? No, it's very good. It's very good. It's very, uh, comprehensive and i like that a lot most cool. platforms do not have the um coaching college coaches you follow piece on the front and i love that 
Thank you. No, I appreciate that. It's um, yeah, it's one of the things that we've seen from the engagement of the the college coaches as well. Because again, I mean, you might have. 300 400 you know, some i mean some of them have you know 10 15 000 followers on on instagram but it's very few right you're looking at that and you see some of these colleges you know they got 300 400 followers it's like if you attach this you're going to be instantly attached to thousands of athletes nationwide yeah absolutely. so that they can follow it and it's all it's all there straight away and it's you know it's it's another way to market your id camps and showcases as well you know you publish right. it on your instagram it's pulled straight away onto the platform which is exclusively made for you know, college soccer recruiting. So everyone on here is a viable prospect or a viable recruit to any given event. Yeah. It's a great marketing tool as well. Yeah, no, it's, um, yeah, this is, this is one from the college coaches that they've, they've definitely seen the, uh, the benefit from, from getting in there and connecting the social media. Um, one thing that we would like to do is actually just have it where you automatically follow every single college coach on there so that it's just yeah. all you're doing is seeing a news feed of university information. So you don't have right. to go, and you can obviously unfollow and hide different ones if you'd like to. Um, but we'd like to just have it where all you're doing is seeing college coach information on this page. Nice. Um, any other questions on anything you've seen? I'll, I'll Let me close out of this screen so we can see each other again. Yeah, I'd love to see the, the video. Like how the, the video is just quick upload. Yeah, can, can you still see my screen now? Yeah, yeah, I can. I can. Yeah, so, yeah, so the video on here, this is just a YouTube video. Um, yeah. I'll just mute that. Again, you can then, if you go onto your media, you can put them all full screen. On the top screen, it's just going to be there. Oh, nice. I like that. That's it's on cool. the media. And again, talking with that transcript earlier, you've got all that information there. If I want to, just try and do this without, there we go, full screen there. I just keep that muted. You can then just watch a highlight tape. Um, we embed with YouTube, video, uh, sorry, not video, Vimeo and Huddle. Um, so all right. those completely integrate with that. If I wanted to add other ones on there i just come on here and just copy and paste a url it, it you know, most most athletes that's so easy yeah most of them at this point can figure out how to do that pretty straightforward it's, yeah it's not yeah it's not meant to be complicated and um, the only thing we don't do is the the video editing software and um, to be yes. honest with you, we'd rather we'd rather you do it with a company that that knows how to do that and it's going to be um kind of that's their bread and, bread and butter and then our bread and butter is actually promoting these videos and having right you know, you know, we just, we looked at getting into it and it's just something that we didn't think was, uh, uh be so much extra work. Again, it, just, it just didn't seem to make sense. I think most, most people use huddle at this point. So, you know, if you can't beat them, join them. Kind of was our attitude with that. Yeah. 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 It's, um, yeah, certainly makes it a little bit easier on our end. And then, you know, they can just go in there and they can, I mean, you can, you can edit videos on YouTube if you want to, and just, you know, just pop them straight into there now. Nice. Um, so from the from the player's perspective, the one thing we didn't talk about was the, the difference between the, the paid and the free version from a player. So right now, yeah. this is a paid athlete. The only differences between a free and a paid athlete is on a free version, you get this video up in the top corner, but you don't get this complete media section. So you have to right. upgrade if you wanted to have multiple videos, multiple images. Um, and if I, click on, if I click on here, you can see different college coaches have viewed my profile. Um, right. as a, Free athlete, I'm still going to get notified every time a coach has viewed my profile or every time a coach has favorited me. So I can still see if it's working. It's just that I won't get this view visitor statistics. This will be locked if I'm on a free version. So I can't see uh, individual coaches have seen my profile, how often they nice. view my profile, and when the last time that they did. And so it gives you a little bit more of an insight to the platform. Obviously, right. the logic behind that is that if, if it's working, then it, it's worth paying for. If it's not worth it, not working, then it's not worth paying for. Um, yeah. And how why we did it that way um, and then again it with that with that shareable url you get the option to create a custom customizable um url with that as well so you know recruit you.io slash chris roach or slash you know, right, right. Whatever, whatever that would be in there as well but other, other than that that's the um, that's the only differences between the free and the paid we wanted to make it as uh, as comprehensive as possible for the yeah version so that i still athletes, have the incentive there yeah, I mean, we just, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. So we want to make sure that the free version was still doing more than, than basically everyone else. And then from there, yeah. those insights in there, um, if they want to upgrade, if they want to kind of go that above and beyond, ultimately, do you need it? No. But is it nice to have? Absolutely. If you want absolutely, yeah, truly looking at being that, um, you know, that, that next recruited athlete. 